Welcome back to my channel. So it's currently a little bit before 5.30 a.m. And I am crouching down in our den right now because Matt is sleeping in the other room. Um, but I'm just getting ready to go to Project Sculpt, which is where I teach classes. It is Monday morning, so I teach 6 a.m., which is the first class of the day on Monday, and 6.45 a.m. And then I come back here and I have an 8 a.m. client. It's actually a group of two girls that I'm going to train for an hour. And then I have my job in pharma that starts, I mean, basically, obviously it starts like whenever I sign on, but I'll be able to sign on at 9 a.m. And then I have meetings today and work to do, obviously. And I'm going to take Pilates at noon and today's meal prep Monday. So yeah, I figured I would just vlog today. But yeah, obviously I just did my hair and makeup and stuff. I showered and washed my hair yesterday. So I woke up and it was like crazy. So I had to like curl up this morning, which took some time. But now I need to make my lemon water because I really like having lemon water to start off my day. And then um, I need to pick out my outfit. And yeah, class starts at six, but I like getting there like at least 20 minutes early to just like wake up and like write the workout on the board and get everything ready. But usually I wake up, my alarm sets for 4.45 a.m. And it takes me like 30 minutes to get ready and like 10 minutes to drive there. But yeah, let's pick out my outfit. Okay, so here's my align drawer. So all of my leggings, these are all my shorts. And I think I'm feeling like an ancient copper set. I've been wearing so much brown lately, like it's actually kind of too much, but I haven't worn ancient copper in a long time. And then over here, because we live in a one bedroom den and I'm running out of space, this is where I keep all my line tanks. And I have an ancient copper. I pulled out the other one. This one's the ancient copper one. This one, I am totally blanking what name that is, but that's obviously not ancient copper, but it looks very similar. And I still actually really like that color, but yeah, ancient copper. And then for shoes, I feel like with a set like that, my NNDs are probably gonna look the best. And this closet is so messy, but I haven't worn this jacket in a while. This is like that cropped defined jacket that says Lululemon at the bottom, it's limited edition. All right, I never show this mirror because one, it gets so dirty. And obviously this room's like a mess right now because we're just running out of space. Like here's my wedding dress just sitting there which should, which someone's actually buying this right now and I just really can't wait to get rid of it because I have no room. I don't have any room for my gym bags, which stays right there. And yeah, it's just a mess. We are in the process of looking for houses and I just can't wait. But anyways, this set is so cute. I love this jacket, I haven't worn it in a while. And these are the 28 lengths, which I'm really liking in ancient copper right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll show you the outfit better when it's not like dirty and weirdly lit. So I need to finish getting ready and I'll see you at Project Sculpt. <laughs> Some Lululemon before 6 a.m. Just kidding. It is right next door to Project Sculpt, but I work way too early before they close, so I can't really go that often. It's like 7.50 right now. I just got back from Sculpt. I'm back in the den because Matt is still sleeping. So I am trying to be quiet, but I have 10 minutes to just drop my stuff off, go to the bathroom, get my gym bag, sign on to work, just like check any quick emails, and then go back downstairs to get my 8 a.m. client, which will be an hour session. So I'll be back up here around nine o'clock. So I will see you then. All right, it's a little after 10 now, actually. I just got back and answered some emails and starting to do some work. My next 
Meeting's at 10.30, so I'm going to make some breakfast soon. I figured I could finally show you my outfit a little bit better. So yeah, this is ancient copper fit. We have the 28 inch lines, which I really like this color in the 28 inch. Usually I would get the 25, but this one, like in the 28. And then I'm wearing that limited edition crop jacket from Black Friday two years ago. And yeah, I really can't believe they never brought back the Define jacket in a crop version. That's just like crazy to me. I feel like it would sell really well. But that's my outfit of the day. And yeah, I'm going to try this new oatmeal I got at Whole Foods. So we'll see how that is. But yeah, I got like a really bad sleep last night and I'm kind of tired. So I might make some coffee. I try not to have too much coffee because in the past I got super addicted to it. And when I was feeling my gut, I also wanted to cut it out. So now I just try to have it like if I really feel like it. Otherwise, I try not to have it every day. And when I do have it, I don't have it first thing in the morning. You know, I kind of have water. Like I've been up for five hours now, more than that. So yeah, let's make some breakfast. So yeah, this is what I saw at Whole Foods. It is gluten-free and it has protein in it. So I figured let's try this because then I won't really have to add protein to this to try to fit my macros. I think that I'll have a lot of protein today with my dinner because I bought a lot of chicken. So we should be good with just this. All right, I'm going to be honest. That doesn't look like much at all. And usually I've been having these packets but um and they're the same amount of grams I just looked I feel like this usually looks like more this like doesn't look like a lot at all but to be honest I'm not that hungry now anyways um I'm just eating because I want to eat now because I'm taking Pilates at 12 and it's 10 13 now so I won't be eating lunch till like one but yeah I don't know I'm gonna eat this now I'm not that hungry but that's why this is fine for now. And then this is my coffee and I'll put some almond milk in there and then get back to work. And then I'll catch up with you after my meetings. Here's Paisley. She's just taking her nap as she does during the day. <laughs> she gets super sleepy. Um, but I want to show you <sighs> Matt's showering and he's just like blowing his nose if you hear that. <laughs> um, but I want to show you this book. I got this planner. I don't usually do planners. So I feel like I've been having so much going on. Uh, this is from Erin Condren. and I can link it down below, but it's definitely pricey, but you know, I'll be using it all year from what I intend. And I like the way it's set out. Um, I want, honestly, I'm not into like this cheesy kind of stuff, but I got the hourly planner and it first starts off with like the month, just so you could see anything planned out. Like you could see, uh, in February I have like trips and stuff in there. Um, and then it goes into just like any notes, like goals and stuff. And then it goes into hourly, which I really like because as you can see, like I can put my clients that I have. And then that's basically the most thing I use it for. Obviously I don't use it for work because for work I use my work calendar, but mostly I've been doing it for my clients and then like anything else I have during the day. So it's been super helpful just because I've, you know, been having a lot of one-on-ones around work. Um, and then just to show you, like, I'm not usually like a goal planner and stuff, but I figured also don't mind my handwriting. It's so bad. And also I have a hangnail. It's so bad as well. <laughs> but for example, like in January, I wanted to make sure I remember to take my meds. So I have been doing that by putting it in that pill box every week, which I've been showing on my Insta stories and I showed it in my last vlog. And then also I want to get back into applying Grande Lash, um, cause that really helped my lashes last year. And now I want them to grow again, so I'm doing that. And then taking Modair, which I'll show you later, which is to help with my hair. And then for goals, I've been trying to track macros again, organize, which I've definitely been doing this month and I'm really proud of it. Trying to save, which have, this has not been happening this month. I've been buying so much. So yeah, we're trying to buy a house, like I said, which I could talk about sometime later. And then vlog more, which I'm trying to do now. So I'm gonna try to do that every month. Um, February, I just kind of started writing down, yeah, it's not February yet, but I just started writing down more video ideas to get to like best purchases of 2021. I still need to do, um, my favorite sneakers and then Amazon workout sets, uh, just cause I feel like, you know, I want to try, they're like all over TikTok. So I want to try them. But yeah. Just wanted to show you that. 
And it is almost 11.30, so I'm gonna finish up work and then it's time for Pilates. Okay, it's now 11.50 and I'm about to leave for Pilates because it is at 12.15 and that's about 45 minutes. So I should be back here around one to make some lunch and then have meetings and work the rest of the day. Paisley's eating her lunch here. Is it good? <laughs> she gets camera shy. Good girlie. <laughs> okay, so I'm back from Pilates and I am prepping lunch right now. I have about five minutes until my next meeting, so when it's ready, I won't be able to talk. But I'll show you what I'm prepping. It's super quick. It's using kind of a lot of things, but it's really quick. So I am making ground turkey right now, and all I do is spray the pan with olive oil, and I like to put some garlic sea salt on it. Usually I do ground beef. I want to switch it up this week with ground turkey, but I'm honestly already missing ground beef. And then in here I'm waiting for the pot to boil and then I'm going to put white rice in it, which I really like. I never tried this basil pesto, though. That basil pesto flavor, so hopefully it's good. And then I need to pop these green beans in the microwave. I just, you just punch a hole in the bag and put it in for five minutes. And then there I have asparagus in the air fryer. And again, I just put some olive oil in there and some garlic sea salt. So it'll be a nice little bowl of ground turkey, fried rice, vegetables. And yeah, I'll just show you when it's done, but I'll probably be in a meeting. Okay, I'm still in a meeting, but I finished lunch and I want to show you, I prepped three more lunches for the week while making that meal. And then I also had one of these after. I never had them before, but they were pretty good. It's just like a hundred calorie per bar. And it was a good treat after lunch. So I will catch up with you after my meetings. Okay, I have like 15 minutes before my next call, but I figured I would sit down and update you on two things. One is Pilates. So I went to Pilates today. I've been doing Pilates since before our wedding. So probably since like last, like June-ish. And now it is January, obviously. And yeah, I, don't know, I really like Pilates, specifically or former Pilates. I just feel like it really helps your core. And now I feel my core is super engaged during every other work that I do too. However, it's come to a point where like with this specific class that I do, it's just like hard to find times to go, especially because I'm so busy with other clients. So it's around the same time. And also I only like the owner, like taking the classes of, um, taking the classes with the owner of the studio. So she teaches like obviously not every single class. I've tried the other instructors and they're just not as challenging for me. It's kind of like a stretching class. So yeah, it's just like really hard for me to find, find time to go. And on top of that, if you know Hoboken, it's super hard to find parking. So it really stresses me out like to make sure I leave to try and find parking. And then there's only six reformers, but one of the formers, like a weird one where there's like bars on it and stuff and no one ever wants that one. So I need to make sure I get there in time or I don't get that reformer. So anyways, Solid Core just opened up recently, which is actually pretty close to me and they have a parking lot and you'd, I wouldn't have to worry about the instructor because like every class should be the same. Definitely a different vibe because it's like loud music and stuff, but it's still a good workout and it's using the reformer and stuff. So I think I'm going to do start doing solid core instead of the place I've been going to. I only have one more class left. And then also it's good timing because next week I go back to work. I'm supposed to, I'm gonna to talk to my manager about that. But they want us to go back next week. We were going back twice a week. And then during Christmas they said, to stay at home because of COVID, but now they're saying, okay, like it's fine now, you can come back. But even though COVID's still definitely around. <laughs> so next week I'm supposed to go back twice a week, but it's gonna be a little hard because I do a lot of one-on-ones. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. So it was kind of good timing that my Pilates classes were done this week because I won't be able to just like go during lunchtime like I did today, obviously. And Solid Core has a lot of other class times I can do. Also like on Sundays would be really nice to go like before going grocery shopping. Um, but yeah, so that is that. Um, and then also just like what else I do to work out. So I do Pilates like once or twice a week. I try to do at least one cardio day, whether that be like incline walking or Peloton. Um, and then I do 
two leg days a week and then I'll do like a full body day probably like once a week or twice a week I don't end up going to Pilates and then second thing is the house so we want to so this lease of our apartment is up in May but we are probably going to renew one more year but we started the house process right now which we're totally new to we are both from we both went to the same high school in Hillsdale, New Jersey. So his parents are from Hillsdale, mine are from Rivervale. So we want to be as close to home as possible because we just really love that area. It's a great location to the Garden State Parkway and also the PIP. If you're from here, it's just like in the middle of everything because like the second you go out more towards like Norwood or closer, which is really nice, you're just like way farther from the Garden State. So I don't know, we just like that location specifically. We liked our school. And I would love being right down the road from our family because then they can help out whenever we have kids in the future. Um, so yeah, we just started that. I found a real estate agent, had a really good conversation, starting to get that process going. We want this house to be our forever house. So we're going to put everything we have into it. So that means finding like what we want. So the reason we started it now, even though we might not move till next year, is in case we need to build. So right now we're looking at houses that are knockdowns and then we would build a new house on it or ones that are decent but we need some renovating um and then also just keeping our eye out for any builders that do have new construction coming up like next year or something but obviously if like everything works out and they're ready earlier than next year then we would move in earlier you know it just like depends on what's going on and obviously the housing market's crazy right now so not sure like what is gonna happen and because we're so specific with what towns we want to live in right now um it's just like you know got to start that process now so did that got to meet with a lender he sent us a lender today so i'm going to try meeting with him i don't know maybe i'll call him after my meeting today um he also gave me some paperwork to do so i don't know you should start looking at that but now i've been looking at zillow like crazy like just looking at new listings that come out every day so yeah i don't know how much i'll vlog of that process just because it's kind of irrelevant to my channel but if you are interested i can keep you updated on that um but yeah so i have 10 minutes that's my last meeting of the day obviously i'm still in my outfit so at some point you just shower and do all that too but at least i have nothing going on tonight like no clients but tonight is the bachelor and I know I just rambled a lot, but I felt like I needed to just update you guys. So I'll catch you after my last meeting. Okay, so my meetings are done. I really need to go shower, but I just got in something from Amazon and I just want to show you guys. So I got this vest in two colors. The brown one came in a while ago, but I got it in two colors so I want to compare. I think I do like the brown better, but I figured I'd try it on. And I also got a leather one. So this is the vest. I'll link it down below off Amazon I didn't say that already so this is like this like okay I better decide but this is more of like a beige color so it's still really cute um but I feel like I probably like the darker brown color better so let's see I'm just wearing it with the Adam Owl Yoga top and then the Owl Yoga boot cut leggings here's the darker brown one like, obviously, I've been wearing a lot of dark brown. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like the darker brown is cuter. But the only issue with these jackets is, like, is it not going to be trendy next year anymore? Or, like, once it's warmer out where I can actually just wear this. Right now, it's way too cold to be wearing just this. Um, that's my only concern. I also feel like I can't think of many other outfits it goes with besides just this black outfit. <laughs> like, I don't even know how else to style it because it's very, like, cropped, you know? But it's, like, just so cute. It's, like, brown. I can't resist. And then let me just show you the leather one. So the leather one is definitely more practical because it's bigger and longer. So, like, obviously it looks good with an all-black outfit or it would look good even with, like, a sweatshirt underneath, you know, like just like casual with sweats or just with like leggings and a sweatshirt or something or with like a white top underneath whatever i feel like this is definitely more of a versatile vest uh yeah so let me know what you guys think about these vests like i definitely like the this brown better but i don't know if it's worth it 
we'll see. Anyways, now it is finally time for me to shower. <laughs> also, oh my God, sorry, I'm so annoying, but I felt like right away that actually there felt a difference between the two vests. I actually like the fit of the tanner one better because it's like slightly bigger. The brown one's almost like a little too cropped where it feels like a life vest. Um, so now I'm really confused because you see how much like bigger this one is in like a good way. It's still cropped, but yeah, so that's my dilemma now. Okay, it's like 5.30 now. My face is like beet red because it's a Monday and Lulu did a drop. Usually they drop on Tuesdays, so like I'm prepared for it, but I just like was randomly looking at the site and noticed some new things. And I guess they dropped early because of Lunar New Year. So I got the final zip up for the first time. I only always tried the full zip and the half zip with the hood, but they came out with the smoky red and I really like that red color, even though I haven't tried it on yet. So I got that and then they came out the smoky red Align. So I got that even though they're charging extra because of the new year gold logo on it. So annoying. And then an Align tank in two colors. So obviously I'm gonna show you guys that whenever that all comes in because I got too much stuff from Lulu. Um, so I need to do a haul. And yeah, so it's 5.30. I'm gonna start making dinner soon. It should be super quick. It's just like one pan of like chicken veggies and sweet potato. But before I forget, I need to take this Modere. So I mentioned in my last vlog how I noticed like my hair just looking a lot thinner and stuff. So again, I don't know if it was because my Hachimoto's or what, but I do have tape-in extensions right now. Um, but I did get this and I've been very consistent with taking it. Um, it's been like a week and a half now. So I took it before picture with my extensions out. And then after a little while, I'll take it after picture. But I've really only heard good things from everyone replying to my stuff and whatnot. So yeah, so far so good. But I am taking, I take two tablespoons of this a day. So the only thing is it's kind of annoying to take because like the way it's dispensed is like this and I just like pour it in the spoon, but it kind of like spills everywhere. So I have to do it over the sink. Um, so that's the annoying part. But it doesn't taste too bad. It kind of tastes like sour apple juice. But yeah, so I'm gonna take this and then I'll show you when I'm prepping dinner. Okay, so the oven's preheating to 425 and I'm making my chicken and broccolini. So I have literally like two pounds this week. So yeah, I have a lot of protein with my dinner right now, which is fine. I like having a nice big dinner. And then broccolini is so good, especially in the oven. So I just put garlic, sea salt on that sprayed everything with olive oil and then on the chicken I just put this garlic and herb black pepper sea salt seasoning and some rosemary so it's going to be in the oven for probably like 25 minutes I'd say and then I have Japanese sweet potato which is the best kind of sweet potato I just poke it with a fork a bunch of times I'm going to dampen the paper towel and then I loosely roll it up and then I put it in the oven for about or the microwave for six minutes and then I'm going to throw it in the oven the rest of the time it's with the rest of the time that this is cooking to crispen up the skin. Okay, so here it is all done. It's one big chicken breast and then that whole sweet potato and broccolini. And then I put some ghee on top of the potato. It's so good. But I am kind of confused about tracking a potato, especially like raw versus cooked. I feel like when I put this in, it says it's like a lot but this looks like a medium sweet potato to me, but it's telling me it's like double the size of a medium sweet potato, but it's just like really confusing. Like I'll show you compared to an apple. Like, I don't know, it just looks like a normal size, but I don't know. <laughs> so that is a lot of my carbs and protein for the day is in this meal. Okay, so it's now 8.30, I'm making dessert, watching The Bachelor, which is not good. Um, and yeah, making protein frosty, so I can link this blender down below. I really like it because it comes with this attachment for like acai bowls or like ice cream, which I'm making now because it has one frozen banana, a little bit of almond milk and protein powder. So it, this helps to like twist it and mix it all up. And it has like a bowl setting, but then for shakes and smoothies, we have this that comes with two of these, one of these, and then a big thing here. So I really, really like it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna blend this on up. Okay, now here is what it looks like. It's so good. Obviously, if you put in less almond milk, it's gonna be even thicker, but I like it like frosty vibes like this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat that. And then I usually like to end my night with a big blender bottle full of lemon water 
and I gotta take my supplements and then it's time for bed. So yeah, that is it for today's day in the life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.